Hi everyone, I'm diving into iRedmail versus MailCow, two powerful open source email server solutions. In this quick video, I'll explain what each one offers, compare their strengths, and help you decide which is best for your needs. Let's get started. First up, we have iRedmail. Launched in 2007, iRedmail is a lightweight open source email server solution built on Postfix and Dovecot. It's super easy to set up, taking under a minute on Linux and BSD systems. It supports IMAP, SMTP, POP3, and includes anti-spam, antivirus, and a basic webmail interface with Roundcube. iRedmail is perfect for small to medium businesses needing a simple no-fuss email server. However, advanced features like calendar sync require a paid version, and most admin tasks are command line based, which can be tricky for beginners. Now, MailCow. This Germany-based solution started in 2013 is a dockerized email server suite. Also using Postfix and Dovecot, MailCow shines with its modern web interface, making domain and mail management a breeze. It offers built-in calendar and contact sync with SOGO, plus robust security features like DKIM, DMARC, and Let's Encrypt SSL. MailCow's Docker setup simplifies updates but requires more resources like 4GB of RAM and a bit of Docker know-how. So, how do they stack up? iRedmail is lighter and easier to install, ideal for low resource servers and users comfortable with command and users comfortable with command line management. It's great for small setups but lacks native calendar sync and has a simpler interface. MailCow with its Docker-based modularity offers a richer feature set, including mailing lists and a user-friendly UI, making it better for tech-savvy users or businesses needing advanced features. However, it is resource-heavy and has a steeper learning curve. For small, budget-conscious setups, iRedmail wins. For feature-rich, scalable solutions, MailCow takes the lead. That's it, guys. Choose iRedmail for simplicity and low resources, or MailCow for modern features and scalability. Check the comparison chart for more details. Like and subscribe for more tech tips. And I'll see you in the next video.